What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a vlog from Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park, California. One of my home parks, but it's been so long since I've been here, a year and a half to be exact. And that's because I haven't been here since before Accelerator. One of the park's marquee attractions was available. Now it's open. I can't wait to get back on this thing. It's one of my favorite coasters in California. It's an incredible launch coaster. One of the best launches in the world, period. The ride's awesome. And in addition to that, I haven't been on Ghost Rider, Silver Bullet, Hang Time in a year and a half. It's gonna be a pretty nostalgic day today. We actually have someone special with us. What's it's up, you Tyler, guys? formerly stable media, but now the channel formerly. is like bankrupt. Yeah, more bankrupt than Six Flags. Where can where can they find you now, Tyler? So I actually have a, a Minecraft YouTube channel. It's called CJ9091. If you guys like Minecraft, check it out. Uh, but I'm also gonna just be starting a regular vlog channel just for my personal stuff. Sick. Coming, coming soon. Yeah, it's actually been a while since we've hung out. So uh, it'll be a Dude, really fun day. it's been so long Yeah, it's actually been a while. Out. Oh my God. <laughs> um, we definitely wanna check out the Notch Chicken Dinner restaurant at some point today too. That's very um, historic and significant to this park. Good. And the restaurant's awesome. So yeah. yeah, we gotta check it out for sure. I really want this to be a fully uh, encompassing, massive, really well-made Knott's Berry Farm vlog because I feel like I don't have a whole lot of those on this channel. Lots of POVs to be had today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'll see you guys inside the park here from Knott's Berry Farm in California. Let's head inside. <laughs> oh my God, it's so nice to be back in this beautiful Cedar Fair Park. One of my favorite atmospheres of any park I've been to. It's just wonderful here and it's a stunning park. We got silver bullets, Cobra looming above us. Ready to go to Accelerator? Let's do it. I can't wait. God, it felt so nice to finally get back on Accelerator. I still believe that launch is one of the most intense in the world. The initial kick of that is so powerful and it sustains itself really well throughout the entire launch section. The top hat's a lot of fun, super tall, one of the highest moments in the park. And then the two overbank turns are actually quite intense. And, I, and don't be surprised if you gray out on those turns. They're, they're pretty crazy. I forgot how intense those turns are. I always say, oh, Accelerator is just a launch and a top hat, but it's actually a lot more than that. So, you know, give those turns credit where credit is due. I grayed out, but I also haven't eaten anything. So Absolutely. Yeah. Boardwalk barbecue. Yeah, it's time to eat, time to eat. And then we'll see you guys at the next ride, but that was awesome. I can't wait to get more rides on Accelerator later on in the day because it was so good to get back on that. We've got the goods. We got brisket with Knott's boysenberry barbecue sauce. We got cornbread. We got mac and cheese. We're about to eat well. All right, we're on hang time now. Looking forward to getting back on this Gerslauer Infinity Coaster. It's a great ride. A little shaky around the edges, but a uh, really fun layout. Okay. Yeah, that feels weird. <laughs> Doing sit-ups on the vertical lift. <laughs> That's funny. Up and over. Wow, look at that view. Most exercise I've gotten in years. <laughs> Oh god, this holding break. I forgot about this. It feels so weird. Whoa. Ah, okay, here we go. Woo! Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that one kink. This ride 
has a few really sneaky good moments of airtime. Smoother than I remember. Hey, we're with an enthusiast too. Hey. A big Hello. fan of their channel. How, what, how'd you like that? That was great. Yeah, that was it was running really well, wasn't it? That was awesome. <laughs> We just got off of Hang Time, Gerslauer Infinity Coaster. Very fun ride, not one of my favorite Gerslauers. I do think the layout could have been a little bit better. And I actually think it's kind of odd that that coaster, considering it's called Hang Time, doesn't have more Hang Time. There's other Gerslauers that have been on that have more Hang Time. And it also is a little shaky around the edges. Nonetheless, it's a really fun coaster and it has three excellent moments of airtime. That drop, the dip before the cover roll, and into the final breaks. All three are fantastic. And I don't know, not many Gerslauers have that much airtime so I really appreciate those moments to diversify the layout a little bit. I mean, really, without the airtime, I think that coaster would be a little bit lackluster in comparison to similar rides. But with the airtime, it's a very fun attraction. The inversions definitely round out a nice experience. You like it? I like it a lot, yeah. It was smoother than I remember. Um, I, maybe that's just because we sat in the front middle. Um, but that ride, you know, is known for being kind of shaky, but it's really not as bad as people say. And it's, uh, it's intense, but like Mark said, there's no, no hang time at all on that ride. It's so bizarre. It's so weird. Like Monster at Adventureland has lots of instances of hang time. Yeah, and it's not even called hang time. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, nonetheless, we're heading on to Knott's Berry Tales next. This is a very cool dark ride, actually pretty underrated. Ever since it opened, it hasn't been getting that much hype, but I think it's a lot of fun. Rounds out the ride line up here even further than it already was, which is great. So yeah, let's get on this thing. to film and shoot from this boysenberry gun at the same time. So my score is like horribly awful right now. <laughs> wow, I forgot about the ejector airtime in this tunnel. Knott's Fairy Tales. It's good, nothing more. There was definitely a lot of things that were not working properly. However, uh, it's a fun ride and the theming is solid. There's not really much more I can say about it, but what do you think? My gun was broken. You can't really do anything if your gun's broken, so you're just kind of like staring at the screen. Yeah, it I know. Sucks. It was, it was like... Well, it is great to be back in Ghost Town. I want to show you guys a little something kind of cool in this area of the park. You go in this little alleyway area, you get to Sad Eye Joe. There he is. There he is. What's up? Ah. Are you subscribed to Coaster Dash? C Coaster Dash? What's YouTube? Coaster Dash? My YouTube channel. That's you? Yeah. What do you do? Theme park vlogs, like this one that I'm making right now. Oh, uh, you're on camera. Hi, Coaster Dash. Tell my mama that I'm famous. You ready for the main attraction of the day, Ghost Rider? Ghost Let's Rider. do this thing. Not Coast Rider, Ghost Rider, the good one. It is time. We are on Ghost Rider, the park's standout signature ride. This is an amazing wooden roller coaster. Built by CCI, redone by GCI, and this thing is awesome. I'm so excited to be back on this after a year and a freaking half. You ready? I can't wait, dude. I love this guy. Oh yeah, let's do it.
I love that last pop. Oh man, what a ride, dude. Oh, it's an amazing ride. It's so long and so action packed. So much variety in that layout. We just got off of Ghost Rider. We actually did two rides, once in the front, once in the back. It's an amazing ride. I do like the back more. I think there's a lot more airtime in the second half. It's just crazier in general, a little bit more uh, rough around the edges back there. And when I say rough around the edges, I mean the ride's remarkably smooth for a wooden coaster. It's just slightly rougher in the back. And I actually think this is a coaster where if it were slightly rougher, it could add to the intensity. But I mean, it's amazing. It's remarkable how well maintained that is. It's an incredible ride. The forces are great. Some of the best laterals, if not the best when it goes to for laterals. It's either that or legend. And the airtime is awesome. There's so many instances of it. It really is great. And the ride is so long. I mean, the first half is more like drawn out kind of uh, large elements. And then the second half is very low to the ground. And that's where I think the ride really starts to pick up. But yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a fantastic coaster. Yeah, it's great. Uh, I like it equally on the front and the back. The front uh, is way better in the first half and the back is way better in the second half. Although it's kind of sad sitting in that front row going over that drop off the mid course and getting no airtime. Yeah, because um, that is like otherwise the best element in the second yeah. half uh, is if you're in the back row. But my favorite part of the ride is actually after the mid course drop. Those little low to the ground moments. I mean, there's airtime and laterals combined. It's really something else. So yeah, I mean, it's felt amazing to get back on Ghost Rider after a year and a half. We're gonna head to Silver Bullet next, Park's B&M Inverted Coaster. Should be a lot of fun in the front row. Silver Bullet, looking forward to getting on this again. It's been a long time. I mean, everything here has been. Oh yeah, let's do it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Dude, wow. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, the positives just, oh my God. Out of nowhere. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! because it's really forceful but it's not whippy at all which is very weird for a b and a member yeah and i think that's why it's um very polarizing i don't love yeah. it i think it's good i don't think it's great like it's it's good but it's just lacking in a lot of what makes other b and inverts so much fun i like batman more for real like and for some reason the front was better than the back yeah, which shouldn't be how it is on inverts at all. I think it's just the added sense of speed is probably just what it does. I remember the better. days when this was my favorite invert, but that was before I rode Raptor, Montu, and Afterburn, and now I just feel stupid. Now you're a changed <laughs> man. It's not my favorite. Like, if I'm being honest, I think it is probably my least favorite B&M invert. Now, all B&M inverts are good, so that's not totally a bad thing, but yeah, I definitely think they could have done more with this layout. Up we go on Timber Mountain Log Ride. Actually, one of my favorite rides in the entire park. I am in the front. I don't know if that was a good idea. I might get really wet. Oh, yes. Look at the steaming. So wonderful. Okay, that was fine. That was fine. That was fine. 
Oh God. Turn it off. Okay. I didn't know if that was actually going to turn off. <laughs> I love this naming. It's amazing. Oh boy. Is this the indoor drought? Yep. Oh God. <laughs> All right. Drop one of two is coming up. In pitch darkness. You guys will not be able to tell. But here we go. Oh boy. No, I'm gonna eat my words. Ah! <laughs> I knew that was coming. Oh, what a great ride. It's wonderful. I am an absolutely massive fan of that ride. I just think it's so awesome that Cedar Curse kept it and maintained it so well. Even when every animatronic isn't necessarily working, which it wasn't that time, um, usually there's like a few that are broken, but even then, you don't notice it too much because there's so much going on. It's pretty remarkable how engaging that whole experience is. The two drops are a lot of fun, but not the highlight. I think the dark ride aspect of that is really the highlight of that experience. It's a wonderful attraction. I'm so glad it's at this park because I think it's really an integral piece of this park if you come here for the first time you absolutely need to do it it's where the heart and soul of knots is this and calico mind ride which i hope to show you guys later but yeah we're gonna head back to accelerator now get some more laps in on the coasters in the back of the park it's been a great day so far very minimal lines since it is a weekday which is awesome I've only been gone for like an hour. It's like pitch black here on Ghost Rider. We're about to get a night ride. It's gonna be freaking awesome. You can see a little bit more up ahead. Oh, look at that view. Stunning. Oh, here we go. Oh! Woo! Whoa! Whoa! That is flying. Oh. oh my god. Oh, this drop is gonna be so good. Here we go. Woo! Oh! Whoa! the best night rides in the world oh it's so amazing like by day it's fantastic but by night it is one of the best experiences you can get on a Let's coaster do it again. <laughs> yes now that was amazing one of my other favorite night rides here in the park is on hang time because look at how stunning these lights are and when the train's flying around the track the lights will actually follow the train with a different color than what's on the track and it's just super cool it's really awesome just been canceled for walking in a coaster dash shot. Oh, you know what the lights are? Oh. Yeah, look at those lights. It's like a wave, literally. Oh, 
Let's go! Hang time is a lot better at night than in the day. Yeah. I think. That was really cool. Great night ride. Hang time was a great night ride. This park is beautiful at night, especially Ghost in the winter. Great at night. We have five minutes before park close. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in line for Calico Mine Ride. One of the rides I was referencing earlier. It's just part of this park's history so substantially. Really, it is an awesome experience and I'm so excited to ride it. Yay, finally about to get on after 25 minutes of waiting. The park's actually been closed for 25 minutes. So uh, yeah, we're finally doing this. Hey driver, let's have a little light, huh? My, my, what a beautiful sight, I tell you. It ain't often we come across glowing formations like these stalagmites and stalactites. ride. I think that it's such an impressive attraction. Again, the fact that Cedar Fair has been able to maintain that so well is, is just impressive because of the amount of animatronics. They're amazing. They're all so cool. There's a lot of diversity on that ride. What'd you think? I've ridden this ride thousands of times since I was a kid and there are still scenes that just blow me away. There's this one room we went into that had these really beautiful waterfalls. I don't even remember that. And I, I, every single time I ride it, I'm like, oh, I don't remember that. That's great. And then I forget about it. But it's just one of those rides where there's so much to take in. It's incredible. I yeah, love there's a myself. lot going on. A lot going on. What's next? Chicken dinner. Yes. <laughs> we were at the place that started it all, the Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant, which is funny. I don't actually really get chicken here, but I love a lot of their other stuff. We got Mr. and Mrs. Knott's up here. Awesome. Really cool. Excited to eat. Let's do it. So you get a lot of food with a each lot. meal. Like this is not a main course at all. It's just some appetizers. We got biscuit with um, boysenberry jam, chicken noodle soups, and salads to start. Got the chicken dumplings. Fried chicken dinner. Yes. Chicken pie. And for dessert, which by the way was included in the price, boysenberry pie. They got apple pie. Yes. Oh my god. Dude, this looks awesome. It's like the most textbook picture perfect pie. It ever. really is. It <laughs> looks stunning. It looks like an ad. I don't even want to eat it. It looks so beautiful. I'm eating it. <laughs> Knott's pie is so good. There's a whole ride here themed to Knott's pie. Mm. That's really the thing to get here. Oh, it's so good. That's so good. Let me try a bite of your apple pie. You can take a bite of mine as well if you want. Holy fuck. <laughs> mm. Oh, unreal. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's so good. The apple pie is also so good. They're both great. Oh, these, these are fantastic pies. Oh my God. Well, we're just wrapping up an awesome meal at the Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant. That was wonderful. So good. That I was love awesome. That. I mean, if you can, when you visit Knott's Berry Farm, go to the Knott's Chicken Dinner uh, Restaurant. If there's nothing available, you should at least get a piece of pie from the bakery next door. Because oh, absolutely. Because it is a must to try the pie here. I think the pie is hands down the best thing at the restaurant and in the park. Um, it's fantastic, absolutely. Yes, it's better than Ghost Rider and Accelerator combined. Oh, bold take. It's better than Steel Vengeance, too. Oh, oh. <laughs> I actually like the front row on boysenberry pie. Okay, Shocking. okay, this is the, <laughs> we're, we're going off the rails. <laughs> Overall, it was absolutely fantastic to get back to Knott's Berry Farm, one of my home parks. I really do need to pay it some more visits more often because it is an incredible park. There's really so much going for this place. It has such a wonderful atmosphere, such great theming for a Cedar Fair Park. It's really unique for a Cedar Fair Park, and I really like that about it. Good, solid coaster lineup here. Ghost Rider being one of the highlights of the day, of course. Absolutely amazing, especially at nighttime. Accelerator, getting back on that was fantastic in the front row. Oh, what the fuck is going on with my... what? Huh? 
Might be the lighting in here. Oh, oh you think so? Fluorescent lighting, because it went from outside of the dark to inside. Yeah, because it wasn't, it wasn't, yeah, look at that. That's so fascinating, wow. Yeah, till next time. You guys can't really see time. anything now. It's pretty dark. You want to head out? It's been a great day. And next week we'll be at Magic Mountain. Oh, and we have a really so fun good. video planned oh, so from sick. Magic Mountain where we're gonna try to ride every single one of their 20 roller coasters in one day. Now, not everything is open. There's always one or two coasters in the park closed. However, we'll try to ride every open coaster in one day. I did a video actually attempting this and I did not succeed, but that video did really well when I did. So we're gonna try to get on all coasters next time and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I know you can't see anything. It's kind of an awkward outro, but I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.